will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here, here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Here ends the third reading. We'll now sing, Lo, how a rose air blooming, number 272. fourth reading is from Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 through 25. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, 
She was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son and named him Jesus. All right, the next hymn is Away in the Manger. It's our last time singing it this year. So good Lutherans, let's really bring it. Eddie, do you want him to stand up? Everybody up, Away in the Manger. Come on, hey, here we go. everybody up. Good. Okay, you may be seated for the offering now. Thank you.
Good and loving God, we rejoice in the birth of Jesus, who came among the poor to bring the riches of your grace. As you have blessed us with your gifts, let them be blessings for others. With the trees of the field, with all earth and heaven, we shout for joy at the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The fifth reading comes from Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The fifth carol is Angels We Have Heard on High on page 289. Please stand for this one and join us in singing. This is where I had planned to tell you to stand it up. <laughs> comes from Matthew. Sorry, everybody can take it. The sixth reading comes from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east 
came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observe his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means less among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. This is the end of the sixth reading. Please join us to sing, What Child Is This? Our seventh reading is from John chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. 
He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe in him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will or of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. And now love has come, hymn 292. rise and join me in saying the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Rejoicing with all the faithful, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. For all who proclaim the gospel in word and deed, for those who are coming to know the newborn Jesus for the first time, and those in whom he has been born anew, let us be stirred by the wonder of the man girl to follow in his footsteps. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the earth and all its creatures, for those seeking refuge from damaging natural events, for those who work outdoors in weather that is hard to bear, 
in winter cold or summer heat. And for all whose labor provides us with food, clothing, shelter, and transportation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all nations and their leaders, for those who bring harmony within division, for those who challenge injustice and prejudice, and for those who are sent far from home to serve and protect others, for their families, as they miss being together in this holiday season, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the safety of those who travel to be with family, for youth who have no safe place to call home, for those who are anxious, for those who grieve and all who are sick, especially those who we name aloud or silently. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For this assembly, for musicians and poets, for elders and youth, for those who ask questions and those who mentor others to deeper faith and compassionate service, Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. With thanksgiving, we remember all who have died, especially those whose lives have helped us to see your love and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pondering the mystery of your love, we offer our prayers in the name of Christ, the Word made flesh. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now the blessing. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise, Praise God, God, all creatures here below. You are the shepherds telling the story. We tell it in the streets and across the land. You are the wise ones worshiping with thanksgiving. We worship with gifts of song and service, talents and treasures. You are the angels announcing peace. We live with joy and go now. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Okay, you can sit for a minute. I have a couple announcements. Thank you for joining in worship today. If you're visiting, we offer a special word of welcome. Please fill out a pew card and take a gift bag, which can be found on the back table. Pastor Katie made me swear a holy oath I would stay right on script. But that's going to be hard. That's going to be hard to do. By the way, I want to thank everybody because earlier this morning I asked you to stand up and then sit down and you did it. It's the first time in my whole life anyone's ever listened to what I said. So thank you. One last thing. Um, if you came to our Christmas Eve services here, we had three services. If you came to the 8 o'clock service, you were in for a treat because you saw the stage debut of one of our young, beautiful, and talented church members. I'd like to introduce her for a round of applause. That's Anna Maria Deo, right there, Anna Maria. There it is, yes. A performance for the ages. Note that there is no weekly matters inserted in the bulletin today, but a list of those for whom we pray is included on the back page. I do want to make mention of the passing yesterday of a longtime and faithful church member, Harold Berman. Harold attended the early morning service, if you knew him. And our hearts and prayers go out to the Berman family, so please keep them in your prayers. There will be a memorial service coming up. I guess Pastor Katie will coordinate that when she's back in town. Uh, regular emails and publications will begin again this week. Note that the office has reduced holiday hours this week, so if you plan to stop by, please call beforehand to assure that someone is here. However, if you leave a message on Pastor Katie's voicemail, rest assured she will receive it. She returns to Miami this evening. Once again, 
Merry Christmas to all, and what better way to bring our season to an end than with Eddie and Beverly and the first Noel. So please stand up as we end our season with this song. They'd listen to you again, David. <laughs>